Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Alter Ego working 9 to 5 and Medina, Mundo Dionis AZ Animals 14 Dragonfly Tongue Twister and She Modern Pearl Purple Stamping Polish Sticky. Here we go. I've got Nail Teaks Formula 2 and Low and Away as my base coats and here is Alter Ego working nine to five. This was from the Nashville Polish and Beauty Expo. And I'm gonna cap my free edge. I like to do that with these kind of pearly polishes. I like to do that first. And then that way it's a little more smooth when I, you know, get done with the polishing. Here we go. Now this type of polish, these kind of frosty polishes are not my favorite. And that's okay. I'm still gonna use them. They're just not my favorite, and I don't know, I don't know why. There goes the first coat, and we are going to do a second coat of nine to five. Very, very, very nice formula, though, on this one. I don't own very many Alter Ego polishes at all, but they're, they're all, they've all been pretty good. Hi, Woody. How you doing? <laughs> All right, so we're going to top this with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get it to dry down, and we're going to do some serious playing today. I'm so excited. So we're getting that all glossed and dried, and we're going we're gonna to do some pretty stuff on top of this. I'm going to cap my free edge here. Very nice. Looks very pretty on the nail. And there we have a swatch photo of 9 to 5. And here is Mundo de Unis, <laughs> AZ Animals 14 Dragonfly. I love this plate. I have a lot of plates that have one or two dragonflies on it, but that's beautiful. I've got um, a cube stamper out, and this is the Pearl Purple Sticky Stampin' Polish from She Modern. And I've got this unnamed powder that I'm also going to use today. I don't even know where it came from. Can't tell you cleaning that plate with some pure acetone before we get started and I'm just gonna slap a bunch of different images of dragonflies on my nails and I really love this plate for that I'm telling you there's so many different versions of dragonflies all in one place here we go I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to try to figure out how I want it on my nail my nails aren't super long or anything. They're pretty decent, but not super long. So I'm not getting as much on there as I would like to. I cleaned my stamper off on a lint roller. And I'm going to clean up around the edges. Because when I go to do that powder, I don't want that sticking to my skin. So I'm going to try to get as much of this off of the skin as I can. Get all up under there. And... That's what I love about this She Modern Sticky Stampin' Polish. It stays wet, so you don't have to, like, be in a rush. You can take your time, do your thing, do your cleanup, whatever you need. And I am using a makeup sponge to, or makeup eyeshadow thing to um, apply the powders. You can do this with your finger. You can do it with a brush. But I'm just tapping it on there. And I'm going to let that just sit. I'm not going to brush it off yet. I'm not going to brush it off until the end when I'm done with all of them. Give it time to kind of congeal with the sticky stamp and polish. Like I said, I'm just going to go over this plate all over it. Just picking up images and doing the same method. And uh, get some pretty purple dragonflies on my nails. So excited. I am really enjoying the She Modern Sticky Stampin' Polishes. I do have a bunch more of her uh, pixie dust or uh, pigment powders coming. But I placed a pretty big order last week, and so I'm expecting it probably Monday. So you'll be seeing more of that. And here we go with some more. I mean, that looks pretty all on its own, but I, I just wanted to play with the the powders and um, this one wasn't the, the powder I'm using today is not a she modern one but that's okay it's 
that just shows you you can use it with other stuff if you've got other stuff. Love that image. And then I'm tapping it in. Tapping it in. I'm not smearing it around because, like I said, that polish is still wet. So you could distort it if you go messing and pushing too hard. So there we go. Now I'm going to dust them all off with my little soft, fluffy brush. <clears throat> very, very nice. Very delicate looking. Fancy. So I'm going to clean this plate off with pure acetone. And this is another extremely well etched plate. It's just chewing up that cotton ball. I'm telling you, it. it's fuzzies everywhere. But you got to get that plate cleaned. And then I'm taking another, that one, you can see that's purple all over that. So I'm taking a clean cotton ball and going over it because I want to get up all the color and everything off of this plate. And then I'm trying with a brush, <coughs> excuse me, to get up some of the fuzzies. It's not really working that good. I just, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know really what to do. I've never... Okay, oh no, I have had plates that were etched like this, but this is, I'm trying to figure out a good way to clean them. So I did go over it with the lint-free wipe, and I think I just held it off to the side and dusted it off with my finger. <laughs> so now we're going to clean up our little uh, stamping mat. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. It's just a little silicone mat. I'm cleaning it up before I put it away. And then I'm going to get rid of this napkin and clean my base mat. And we're going to go in with some, I don't know what I used here. Okay, yes, I am using the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. Just to kind of seal these in. And we're going to let them dry down completely. I'm cleaning off my that brush before I put it back in the bottle. I don't want to contaminate it. And then I topped it with some Sesh Vite. So here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.